Hello everyone. Today we shall see that how did Newton derive the speed of sound formula in his original work. Newton took the analogy of a very long air column and a simple pendulum. Newton took the height of this air column such as the air pressure at the bottom of column remains atmospheric pressure with the density of air in the column remaining as equal to constant and with this he tells that the length of pendulum string is equal to the height of this air column which he represented by letter a and then Newton showed that the speed of a wave of wavelength equal to the perimeter of circle with radius a and period of oscillations same as that of the pendulum is equal to the speed of sound in air. With this equivalence, the wavelength of the wave comes equal to 2 pi a and the period of oscillation of the pendulum is equal to 2 pi root a by g and the speed of wave can be evaluated by the formula wavelength by period which comes equal to root g a. So, this is what Newton tells should be equal to the speed of sound. Now, he goes back to the air column and tells that the pressure at the bottom of the air column is given as P is equal to rho G A with the constant rho and constant G which was assumed by Newton throughout the air column. This gives G A equal to P by rho and after getting the value of G A, it is simply put in the speed of sound formula which Newton gave as C is equal to root G A and it becomes equal to root P by rho which is the formula given by Newton for the speed of sound in air. Thanks for watching.